So I just taught a calculus one for the first time in probably about a decade. Now, I always know there's some gaps in knowledge and things like that when it comes to any sort of math class. I mean, you don't always remember everything that you were taught before. But even the people who did remember uh, the unit circle, they remembered it the wrong way. They had all the right values, but the way of remembering was not right. And, and I, I think this really undercuts the entire point to why we use 30, 60, 45 degrees and all those as our standard unit circle values. Now, to be clear, the values of 30, 45, and 60, those were picked for very specific reasons. And I feel like the way that we teach trigonometry and we teach the unit circle forgot about why we selected those. So what I want to do is I want to show you how to properly write the unit circle, and it's going to probably surprise you uh, how simple it is to remember this thing. And I don't know, I, I think it's fun. And so let's go ahead and, well, let me show you. Okay, so for trigonometry, we have the two standard triangles. These are things that I was taught when I learned trigonometry. Apparently, they aren't always taught to everybody. But basically, you have the 1, 1, and square root of 2, and the 45, 45, 90 triangle. This is one standard triangles. If you want to say uh, compute like sine of 45 degrees, you take opposite over hypotenuse, and it gets you 1 over square root of 2. Or if you want cosine 45 degrees, it's 1 over hypotenuse. Again, it's 1 over square root of 2. And uh, this guy is the 30, 60, 90 triangle. This is 1, 2, square root of 3. And if you want to say compute sine of 30 degrees, then it's going to be opposite over hypotenuse, 1 half. Or if you want sine of 60 degrees, square root of 3 over 2. So if I were to make the unit circle here, just thinking about these triangles and not really thinking much else, then this is what I end up getting. So I'm just going to do the, the upper right hand quadrant. A quadrant and so uh, we're gonna have you know zero degrees here let's call this 30 degrees 45 degrees we have 60 degrees and here we have 90 so over here this is uh, my cosine and sine values for what these should be so if I write this as 1 comma 0 so cosine of 0 is 1 sine of 0 is 0 then over here I have square root of 3 over 2 a 1 over 2 so like that then I have this guy, which is going to be 45 degrees, so 1 over square root of 2, or square root of 2, we already mentioned that. Then over here, uh, we just sort of flip-flop these guys. It's going to be 1 half and square root of 3 over 2. And then over here, we have 0 and 1. And you might say, okay, great, I have the unit circle, uh, but this is wrong. All the values are right, but this is the wrong way to write it. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to blow your mind. So here we had... 1 comma 0. Now instead of 1, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this as, say, uh, 2 over 2. That's still 1. But I'm going to go further. I'm going to change 2 to the square root of 4. This is square root of 4 over 2. And the 0, I'm going to change to be square root of 0 over 2. Here we have square root of 3 over 2. I like that. I'll keep it there like this. Uh, here we have one half, I'm going to write, write as square root of 1 over 2. This guy, I'm going to rationalize the denominator, so I'm going to write this as root 2 over 2. And here, I'm happy with this, write this as square root of 1. And over here, I'm going to rewrite these guys as square root of 4 over 2 and square root of 0 over 2. All right, so now if you want to remember your unit circle, it's super easy. Cosine counts 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And so square roots all over 2. And sine counts up, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. That's your unit circle. That's how you should remember it. And I'm done.